Okay. So that brings us to our last agenda item, which is future agenda items. <laughs> Sounds like we've already got some uh, concepts and I think uh, maybe Executive Director Nevitt can share with us what is on the agenda for the meeting on the 25th of March, right? Yes, our next meeting is on the 25th of March. I believe that's a Friday, one of our few Friday meetings. Um, and that one is gonna be largely focused on uh, Sort of looking at what's going on in the country so uh, we've already gotten acceptances from um, sort of our northwest bar leader region so in the morning we'll be talking with oregon state bar idaho state bar and alaska state bar um, and then in the afternoon uh, we know for sure that the nebraska state bar is going to come speak with us and we have a bunch of other invitations out uh, that we have not heard back from yet. So that's what we're working on for the 25th. Anybody have any questions for Executive Director Nevitt about that? Oh, what about that professor? Professor, is she gonna? Yeah, we also have two other folks who are not bar leaders, but are sort of either lawyers or scholars that have been tracking on these issues. And so we're also touching base uh, with those folks to see if they want to fill in gaps and just figuring out um, where we have space to get everybody in that day. And nobody from California yet has? No, I think um, not yet. But I, th I think part of the problem is I think they have a board meeting that day. Um, so it may be possible too that we could work them into another meeting if they're willing. Anything, anybody have any suggestions for our next uh, meeting in terms of that agenda type thing where we're going to try and reach out to other other folks from other states? And I see past President Shikedi's got his hand up and then Governor Peterson and then uh, our uh, chief regulatory council. So for purposes of next meeting, have we reached out to Colorado? I have to double check. Colorado would be interesting um, because they have a voluntary and a regulatory and they operate out of the same building, which might play into what Governor Stevens was saying of having one unified administration. Um, so it would be interesting to hear from them or whether they can do that at all. Um, and then I have some thoughts about future are you going to say that for the last word? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I can do it now. <laughs> well, I think you ought to just, you know, get it out there. Okay. So the um, the other day when uh, at the Practice of Law Board, I mentioned this earlier, Justice Manson, um suggested that we might want to take a look at that governance report again. I want to make sure that maybe we have some time devoted to that in the future. Um, and then it might also be interesting to invite the ACLU attorney um, who presented to the structures work group back and uh, get her perspective, given the litigation that we've seen over the last couple of years. Because um, as we mentioned yesterday in Pacific County, that was pretty influential, I think, with the structures work group, or at least a majority of them. And uh, it would be interesting to know if she's changed her position at all. Thank you. Okay, Governor Peterson. Yeah, I just appreciate some further guidance on um, kind of the question I raised earlier in terms of if we bifurcate. Um, and I and I agree with general counsel that, you know, there's probably 15 different ways you could do that. But I think there's probably five or six ways that are, you know, potentially, you know, potential contenders. It'd be, um, It'd be great to have um, her feedback in terms of if you do it this way, GR12 would apply. If you did it, if you could, but if you did it this other way, GR12 would not apply. Because um, so, as far as I can tell, that's the only thing that I've heard so far that has, you know, you know, when I think about it, like, oh, okay, you know, that does seem like a potential good thing. I mean, all all the other things I know about seem to favor the. You know, staying mandatory. So, I mean, at least in my mind, that would drastically help me in um, forming my opinion and decision. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, we have uh, Chief Regulatory Counsel Garcia up next. Yeah, uh, just a suggestion to perhaps um, develop a list of questions or bullet points or things that you're wanting to hear from those jurisdictions. So then one day are prepared and feel comfortable speaking to those um, issues. And also, so it's consistent. And then you're asking the same things um, to all the jurisdictions. And perhaps it's something you can send out for those who cannot attend and they can submit responses in writing. And it might be a good way to, to have a consistent manner to compile, compare and contrast, right? Maybe create a spreadsheet or whatever. So anyway, just a suggestion. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have their hand up? Oh yeah, Governor Stevens. Yeah, uh, if I understand correctly, um, Western States hasn't happened yet, the, the nope. meeting. So um, do on. any of you all know if this topic uh, is going to be a part of the program there, th those that are, who are going? Maybe Executive Director Nevitt knows. You know, I haven't seen a full agenda, although I, I do have buried in my email some information <laughs> about some topics in development. I imagine that this will be discussed. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, um, but I can try and look and give you a clearer answer. But the full agenda hasn't been published yet. I also wanted to note March 25th is right around the corner. So to Chief Garcia's suggestion, if folks could email me in the next week, if there are specific things that they would like to hear that they're curious about in hearing from other bar associations, then I can put together uh, some suggestions for them to focus their remarks on. Anybody else have some future agenda items or action items that they'd like to talk about? No? Mr. President, um, I think, I think uh, President-elect Clark put something in the chat again. Oh, he did, okay. We did talk about related litigations involving other states during Western states in 2019. We had a great breakout session discussing it during the 2019 Western states meeting. So uh, maybe they'll have another breakout session. Um, California, I'm hoping they'll send a representative or maybe a representative from both of their 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 new split that you know was there are articles in the aba journal that you can look up to see how that unfolded but they had a they have an interesting situation down there where i think the legislature actually sets the bar dues for the at least the regulatory portion of it but there's a couple of websites you can go to to see the regulatory website and to see the uh, the voluntary website the uh, State Bar of California, which is the regulatory outfit, is, is it's calbar.ca.gov. And uh, their offices are in San Francisco and Los Angeles. And then you've got the California Lawyers Association. That's, uh, I believe, the voluntary organization. <coughs> and their uh, website is calawyers.org. And uh, that's where all the sections went. But they have a lot of other programs and things there. Uh, besides just the sections, but that's where that portion of their, uh, when they did their breakup, which was kind of a negotiated breakup from what I understand. It'd be interesting to get some inside information about um, what the negotiations were and what was decided about what was gonna go where and things like that. Okay. Um, not that I'm saying California is a wonderful model, but just so we have the information. Um, anybody else have any future agenda items or things they'd like to talk about? Because we are ahead of schedule. <laughs> Not seeing any hands up. Uh, Mr. Parliamentarian, is it okay to adjourn? You can uh, adjourn uh, if there is no objection. All right, well, if there's no objection, is there any objection to adjourning early? I'm not hearing an objection. In that case, uh, thanks everybody for being here today. Remember to uh, our next, um, like uh, Executive Director Nevitt said, next meeting of the ethos is March 25th 
uh, I believe again, starting at 9 a.m., correct? Uh, so yes. hope to see you all there and we'll learn about what's going on in other states, among other things. Uh, we are adjourned. <laughs>